Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day today. Before we get started with today's video, I want to thank everybody. We've hit 18,400 subscribers. Right now we're getting about 100 subscribers a day, which is really above and beyond anything I thought this channel would ever do, but thank you guys so much. I also want to remind you that you can become a member to the channel now for just 99 cents a month. Starting January 1st, 2023, the MVP, VIP, and Pro members will all be gone, and all those perks are going to transfer over to the eBuzz Central member. For just 99 cents, you're going to have all those perks, you're going to support a channel you like, and of course, content that you like. Having said that, I do want to send a shout out to two of my newest members, which is Atul Doobie or Atul Dubby. If I got that name wrong, please let me know in the comments below. And General F. Stab. Thank you guys so much for becoming members to the channel. It means so much to me. Now, generally, when I cover distributions and spins on my channel, they all have an underlying base. It's either Debian, Ubuntu, Arch, Manjaro. Most of them have an underlying base that they build off of. Sometimes, though, I have a couple on here that I cover that are either Linux from scratch or independent. That's what we're going to be covering today. We're going to be covering Void Linux. Now, I'm at their website, voidlinux.org. I'll be sure to put that in the description below. And right up here, it kind of lets you know what Void Linux is. Void Linux is a general purpose operating system based on the monolithic Linux kernel. Its package system allows you to quickly install, update, and remove software. Software is provided in binary packages or can be built directly from source with the help of XB. PS source package collection. Now what that means is you just don't have a store. Like on Ubuntu, you go add and remove software, a little store pops up and you can install. Everything from right here will be done in terminal. And a lot of people like that. They don't like a store. They want to go in and do the packages and things like that. It's the XBPS source package collection is available on a variety of platforms and they can be built natively or cross compiled. Now Void Linux is not a fork. It's an independent distribution developed entirely by volunteers. Unlike trillions of other distros, Void is not a modification of an existing distribution. Void's package manager and build system have been written from scratch, which means the way you install software and applications on here is completely their package manager. It's got C library diversity. It supports both the Musil and the GNU libc implementations. It's a stable rolling release. It focuses on stability rather than being bleeding edge. You install it once and update it routinely and safely. XBPS is the native system package manager written from scratch with two clause BSD license. XBPS allows you to quickly install, update, and remove software in your system and features detection of incompatible and shared library and dependencies. While updating or removing packages, refer to the handbook for an overview. They do have an overview right here. You can go to the handbook and check it out. They use Runit as the init system and service supervisor. Runit is simple and effective approach to initialize the system and reliable service supervision. And then XBPS source is the package builder written from scratch. This builds the software and containers through the use of Linux namespaces, providing isolation of processes and bind mounts, no root required. Additionally, XBPS source can build natively or cross-compile for a target machine and supports multiple C libraries. Now down here, it'll show you that there's been some package changes. And then of course, you can go over here to the XBPS source and let's click on it. And it brings you up to the source code over here. And then there are other libraries you can go to and check out what different applications are available. And then of course, you come down here and it said, Void package changes, you've got update, new package, TCSH update, XSnow update, Python update. So you can come down here and check that. And then you've got US mirror issues. It'll let you know that there on December 1st, there might've been some issues there. And then of course, new images. And then if you wanna download it, you could go up here and click on download. You can install the base live image or root FS tarballs. You can do all that down here. You've got a base image, you've got the XFCE image, we're going to be looking at the XFCE today. And then up top, you've got news, packages. Let's click on packages. And right here, you can look in here for a package or description. Let's see if they got GIMP. And there's GIMP right there. You could just click on that package right there and it would give you the installed packages. So you could go in here and get things taken care of that you need to get taken care of. And then back up top, you've got acknowledgements, documentation, manual pages, and then of course, GitHub. Well, that's pretty much a quick go over of the website. I do recommend that if you want to give Void a shot, you definitely zip on over and take a look at the website once you get done downloading it. 
But right now, we're going to zip on over and take a look at the desktop. If you download Void Linux, throw it on a USB or open it in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. It's very minimalistic, but at the same time, it's very functional. You've got a little dock down here, plus you've got your regular panel up top. It's got your username, of course, date and time, notifications, percentage on your battery, internet, and then, of course, your separate different desktops right here. Right here, you've got files. You can access your desktop documents all from right here with one click. Or you can go to the file manager, which is right here, which will be through our file manager because we are in XFCE. Let's find out about. It is 4.16.1. This is running kernel 5.19.10 as well. Now, with Thunar File Manager, it's a very light file manager. It's not feature rich like Dolphin per se. But over here, you've got your usual suspects, and then you got your home folder right here. And then if you come back down to the bottom, let's see if they have HTOP. They don't. Let's see if they have top. They do have top. Let's go ahead and maximize that so you can see it. And then we will go ahead and make that a little bigger. Uh, you want to talk about lightweight? It doesn't get much lighter than this. At present, with just the terminal open, you're running about 300 megabytes. That's pretty low. That's one of the lowest I've seen. But with a full XFCE desktop open and terminal open, and you're using about 300 megabytes, you can't beat that. I mean, honestly, you really can't. So let's close out of that. Now, I do want to see if they have... Uh, Neo fetch installed or fetch and they don't so I just wanted to check on that Now if you come back down here, you've got a web browser Let's go ahead and click on that and this should be a Firefox based browser and it is Mozilla Firefox So that's what you get out of the box And then we can come back up top to applications Run program what kind of uh, stuff do we have out of the box settings? You got accessibility settings manager. Let's check this out Session and startup settings, editor, default apps, desktop appearance, screensaver panel, notifications, window manager, color profiles. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And then we can come back up here, settings, everything we pretty much see in settings, applications. You got application finder, bulk rename, task manager. Let's go ahead and see what we got going here with task manager. Let's go ahead and make that. There's processes, memory. So it doesn't have too much running in the background. Now, Task Manager says we're running about 485 megabytes of the two gigs I got issued, but we've only got 137 processes going on in the background. So let's go ahead and close back out of that. Now we come up here, Development, Graphics, Internet. You got Icon Browser, Ristretto Image Viewer, Firefox, Multimedia Parole Media Player, Thunar File Manager, About XFCE, log out you don't have a lot of installed out of the box it's lightweight it's independent you build everything that you're going to use from source uh void linux i've heard a lot i had a lot of people come in comments and say hey void linux i use it every day it's a great operating system if you're somebody that wants a minimal desktop and you're somebody that just wants something terminal centric really that's what it is uh terminal centric probably developer centric too i would say uh, compared to the video I watched the other day where they said Pop! OS is developer-centric, I would think this would be more, especially in an independent mode and you're working with a Linux monolithic kernel, that that would be more aimed at that. Now, I could be wrong. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. But what do you think? Is Void Linux something you might take a look at, throw in a USB, take for a test drive, or is it just not your cup of tea? Either way, let me know in the comments below. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. The more likes I get keeps me in YouTube's algorithm, which means the information you just saw in this video, if it was helpful to you, it can be helpful to somebody else. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, we are on three separate platforms. YouTube, Utreon, and Odyssey. And you can become members on all three. On YouTube, it's only 99 cents. On Utreon, it's $2.99, and on Odyssey, it's $4. You can also buy us a cup of coffee, maybe go over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.